بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سہلار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے واٹ ٹو ڈے دی افیکٹ آف ٹیمپریچر آن دی وی آئی کیریکٹرسٹکس آف اے ڈائوڈ سو وی وال ریڈی سین دی وی آئی کیریکٹرسٹکس وی وال ریڈی سین اے ڈائوڈ وی نو دا ڈائوڈ کرنٹ ریلیشن وتھ رسپیکٹ ٹو دا وولٹیج اینڈ وی نو دا پلاٹ ویل دس پلاٹ آئی ڈرا اینڈ آلسو دا پریویس دیٹ آئی ڈرا سو آئی فار گاٹ ٹو مینشن دیٹ دیٹ واز اے پریکٹیکل گراف دا پریکٹیکل ویلیوز فائن Uh, but if you want to know a more theoretical graph or a more sort of a perfect graph so you can take this relation and put it into the MATLAB and draw a proper graph although I believe you would not have uh, this sort of knowledge about MATLAB uh, on this level but anyways after a semester or two you will know what is MATLAB in a great detail or you can ask your seniors to to draw you this simple equation the graph plot this simple equation so you will understand it find for different values and maybe you know how to draw them if you don't so anyways this is the practical graph now this graph i have taken for uh, is for silicon you could see from the barrier potential you could see that this graph is taken for a silicon diode barrier potential is 0.7 and the reverse saturation current is shown as 10 nano amperes now we see the effect of temperature what will happen if we change temperatures so first that we see is in the forward bias region in the forward bias region which means when when your p is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and n is connected to the negative terminal of the battery you know the phenomena but what happens in the forward bias the characteristics of the silicon diode shift to the left I will write characteristics in short characteristics of silicon diode shift to the left at a rate of 2.5 millivolt per degree centigrade rise in temperature and for drop in temperature it will shift to the right so this is one and this would be the second that for drop in temperature it will shift to the right at what rate at the same rate 2.5 millivolts per degree rise in temperature now this this 0.7 that i've shown is at a room temperature which means at a 25 degree centigrade fine so i will write that uh, we break down a barrier potential for uh, silicon at 25 degree centigrade that is at room temperature is is what it's 0.7 volts fine now if i want to if i have a 100 degree rise in temperature say i have what i have 100 degrees centigrade rise in temperature fine so which means that my new temperature is 125 degrees so what would be the barrier potential at that point so uh, so so uh, we be at 125 degrees is unknown right so what do we do we do for for per degree rise in temperature we have uh, uh what a uh, 2.5 millivolts right so which means for a 100 degree rise we would have a 100 multiplied by 2.5 millivolts which would give us 2.5 which would give us 2.5 no sorry 0.25 0.25 for 1 degree we would have a 2.5 millivolt change so for a 100 degree we would have a 2.5 millivolt change so the overall change is of a 0.25 now it has to shift to the left at this much rate so which means that the new barrier potential let's say we be dash so this would be equal to the old 0.7 minus this 
minus this range which is 0.25 and this would give you a 0.35 volts so the new barrier potential would be 0.35 volts so let me draw it over here this is let's say your 0.35 so this would it be this is at uh, silicon at 125 degrees the black is silicon at room temperature at 25 degrees now this is for the uh, for the rise in temperature we saw this right so uh, and what would happen for the drop in temperature so let's say we drop it now for 100 degrees we further now this was case number one was for the rise in temperature similarly for 100 degree drop in temperature 100 degree uh, drop in temperature that is your vb at minus 75 degrees is unknown so again you would have the same thing 100 multiplied to uh, 2.5 millivolts so the difference would be 0.25 right the new barrier potential vb dash would be the old 0.7 and now it has to shift to the right at the same rate and the rate is the same 0.25 because we took the same 100 degrees so now it has to shift to the right so we would add with it so 0.25 is added to 0.7 to get a 0.95 so we mean the new barrier potential has come out to be 0.95 let's say this is 0.95 and, 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 and this is a graph so this is the same silicon at minus 75 degree centigrade fine yes now in the reverse bias region now we come to the reverse bias region in the reverse bias region what do you have you have p side connected to negative and n side connected to positive in reverse bias the reverse situation current doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature But the reverse saturation current and I would write the reverse current the actual current doubles for every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature and similarly it would become maybe half for a drop of 10 degree temperature fine yes so uh, we have uh, at at at, uh, at 10 we have 10 nano amperes at what at at room temperature right so if you have 10 nano amperes at room temperature at room temperature which I have taken to be 25 degree centigrade so now if I need to check at 125 degrees so if we have a hundred degrees rise this implies at 125 degrees uh, the, the the reverse current is unknown so at 10 you have at 10 10 nano ampere wait 25 degrees is equal to 10 nano amperes 35 degrees would be equal to 20 nano amperes 45 degrees would be equal to 40 nano amperes and you continue this I will tell you a proper formula you continue this to get uh, at 125 degrees you get a 1000 240 nano amperes which is 10.24 micro amperes so we have quite a quite a what quite a greater increase of current so 10.24 micro amperes and let me draw it 
so this is for 125 degrees so for 125 degrees it let's say this is your uh, 10.24 uh, and let me draw it with yes red color is fine 10.24 microamperes this is for 125 degrees so I will draw it at, over here at 125 degrees 10 nano amperes is at 25 degrees similarly for the drop of 100 degrees it would become half of it so then at, at, at that we also given I have over here it's almost less than a pico ampere it's almost less than a pico ampere so uh, I will draw it I don't have a proper value I believe but it would be somewhere over here fine yes let me draw it a little properly yes so this is it for about it this is it about it the proper formula what happens with the reverse saturation current is that is2 if is2 is your new saturation current you need to find with respect to is1 which is the old current uh, so I have that formula somewhere but I don't know where it is just give me a second I have it somewhere over here yes here it is so it's is2 is equal to is1 times 2 to the power t2 minus t1 divided by 10 T2 minus T1 divided by 10 and this you can confirm by taking these values this will uh, you know uh, uh, work for both rise in temperature and drop in temperature so over here if you let's say take T1 as uh, 25 degrees and take T2 as 125 degrees and take IS1 as 10 nano amperes find IS2 IS2 would come out to be 10.24 micro amperes so this I have already done now take your uh, homework take your homework and do what that take is1 is 10 nano ampere the same t1 take it as and is this in kelvin or is this in uh, centigrade so i believe this is in kelvins or in centigrade so you also have to confirm this now i'm telling you how wait take t1 equal to 25 degree centigrade take t2 equal to uh, uh, what take t2 equal to minus 75 degree centigrade which means you have dropped it by 100 degrees right this graph is at minus 75 degree centigrade and find the value of is2 find the value of is2 which is this value so this value is your homework this value is your homework and also how to confirm that is this in Kelvin or is this in centigrade so if you take the centigrade values as I told you in the first case so if is2 comes out to be this particular thing so this means that this is fine in centigrades and if this does not come out to be this so then convert 25 and 100 degrees into Kelvins and then take t1 and t2 in Kelvins and then see if this comes out so maybe I write it over here as well while editing the video that is this in kelvins or in centigrade but if you do it and you let me know in the comment section so that would be great but this is your homework to find the value of this current you have to find the value of this current as well one other thing one other thing and is the video getting longer no it's not so one other thing is the effect on the breakdown voltage so you, the effect of temperature on the vi characteristics but we also have the effect of temperature on the breakdown voltage and as you could see in the graph as I have already drawn in the graph that as the temperature increases the breakdown voltage has increased this is the breakdown voltage 
at 125 degrees the black is the breakdown voltage at 25 degrees and this is green is the breakdown voltage at minus 75 degrees so what do you have you can see that the effect on breakdown voltage is what that as the the the, the temperature increases the breakdown voltage increases temperature increase implies what that the breakdown voltage increases and I believe that is it now how is this so due to the minority charge you can relate it yourself I am tired I cannot do it more explanation you could see it from the graph theoretically you could see you could derive it from the formula well, no formulas but you can see it from the book you can see uh, through the minority and majority charge carriers that is it for today that is it about the temperature uh, volt ampere characteristics i believe that i am clear see you in the next video very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the youtube channel goodbye